Does God make sense? The answer to that is yes. Without God, nothing makes sense. If there is no God, we can live like devils and it doesn't matter. We can do whatever we want. We can uh, follow our fleshly nature. We can swindle people. We can, we can commit any sort of atrocity and sin. And in the end, if God does not exist, it does not matter. But God absolutely makes sense. Uh, when we look at everything, everything that has come to be and is, initially there was always a first of that very thing. There was a first uh, uh, tree. There was a first man and woman who, whom we know to be Adam and Eve. There was a first blade of grass. There was the first instant in which, in which light came to be. There was, uh, um, there was a first uh, declaration of days and nights. Everything that we can think of, whether on a physical level, a metaphysical level, an ontological level, uh, a moral level, all things have had a first in its proper sequence. And when we come to understand this, we come to find that everything that has had a first uh, of something is limited. It, it cannot be derived by its own being, lest those very things would just randomly be popping into nature. And so when we understand this, we know that uh, there, when there was a first dog and a first cat, uh, Obviously, these things had to derive themselves from something else. All first causes have to come from an uncaused cause. And that uncaused cause has to be God. God, we know, is the ground of all being. He's the one who speaks and it is. He brings uh, something out of nothing. He is the one who has to be the sole basis of all that is in order for other things to be as they are. And as God speaks, as God thinks and then declares, when first things come into being, it makes absolute sense that there has to be a God, lest there would be nothing at all. If there is not a being who has all knowledge, all power, is everywhere at all times, and who is perfect and morally good, he is the basis and is truth and wisdom himself, when when there isn't a uh, a being such as God, nothing makes sense, and therefore uh, nothing would come to be because if there is no God beforehand, before the first sequence of all things, then there is nothing. And wherever nothing is, it is nothing means a universal negation. It doesn't mean that there's black, it doesn't mean that there's space, it doesn't mean that there's air or invisibility. Nothing is literally nothing. And we can't even conceptualize the true basis of nothing. And we know at the same time, when there was nothing to begin with, it was only God. And God is something. He is someone. And he is the one who has derived all things based upon a mere spoken word. And so when we continue to go back, it doesn't matter how far back we go, there's always a first behind everything, but there has to be a reason behind that first. We don't just look at a computer and, say, and just keep going back and say, well, there was a first computer, but that's that. No, we understand that the computer was made by man. When we look at vehicles or airplanes, we don't just keep going back and say, well, there was a first airplane or a first vehicle that came to be. No, we want to know how that came to be, which comes from intelligent life of us as human beings having the cognitive faculties, being able to tie in certain resources and develop certain uh, aspects of uh, of certain creations that we bring about based upon what we imagine, what we think, and what we work with our hands and work collectively as a team. Uh, we know planes didn't just come to be. There was a proper sequence and a first, um, not only a first cause of, for example, a plane, but there was prior knowledge and cognitive faculties working behind the scenes in order to bring about that first airplane. And likewise is it with uh, everything else that has been created. We know from Romans 1.20 that uh, God's invisible attributes, namely his divine power, are clearly perceived in this world so that man is without excuse. That is so true. We can look all around and it makes absolute sense. We are fully rational believing that there is a God. And we know that the one true God is, uh, is the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when we believe Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins, we come to know God through 
uh, a living relationship with him as we receive the Holy Spirit within. It takes an initial leap of faith, but that leap of faith brings the revealment that we know the one true God when we receive the Holy Spirit living within. So does God make sense? Absolutely. Without God, there would be nothing. Uh, but because of God, there are all things, and God makes sense of everything. He is the one that brought everything uh, into being and intends it to be used for good, and he created it, and it is good, and it is our responsibility to utilize what he has given and to steward well all that he has created because we know that he is a God of love and he commands us um, to go out, make disciples of men, to uh, be fruitful and multiply when we are married and to fulfill his will and to seek him, to love him, to know him more. So God makes absolute sense because without God there'd be nothing, but it's because of God there are everything that we see.